Serbia. They are captained by Daryl De La Harp. And they're going to really need to count on him to make an impact today to lead this team. It was a difficult previous two games for Namibia. And also watch out for their number eight, who's making a comeback today in the form of Tomasa Forbes. Georgia. Well, they're also going to have to stand up. They've got a few key players who have been injured, notably their captain in Tedo Abshandadze. So taking over the captaincy today is experienced Demir Tapladze, who's playing in his third game of the series and was at the World Cup last year as well. With me in the commentary box today is Andri Strauss. Andris, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Justin. Lovely to be here again. It's a perfect day in Stellenbosch. And what an iconic location this is. It's a field that's seen many an international rugby player perform in it. And it's a lovely day for, for us to watch some rugby and hopefully see two teams taking, take each other on quite strongly and both sides like you mentioned Justin are, are both looking for their first victory of the series so it's going to be PW Steering Cup who will get us underway both sides need a much needed victory and right away is one of the key players for Georgia Kusha Rashvili who was absolutely sensational against Argentina under 20s and in that game Georgia were winning 19-0, but they couldn't come away with the goods. Good start for Namibia with good pressure off that kickoff, Justin. Forcing Georgia to kick that ball out on the full, resulting in a line-out on the 22-metre line of Georgia. Attacking ball for Namibia and an opportunity to get onto the scoreboard within the first minute of this match. Also, Andre's just talking about that game against Argentina under 20s. Georgia were quite inspirational. They just, that injury maybe to Abshandadze in the second half um, prevented them from getting a victory, possibly. Yeah, they were very inspirational and they, uh, they stood up physically to, to Argentina and they were the more physical side at scrum time in the set phases. They, they really dominated the Argentinian side and with the, the absence of their captain Abshandadze in the last 25 minutes, uh, Namibia or Argentina, I might say, just managed to get the upper hand. The class they have in their back line counting in their favour and they put Georgia away in the last couple of minutes. Georgia are a very good team. They are very much improved side. We see this every year in the national side and also in the under 20 side. They push all the teams they play against quite far and it will be interesting to see how they manage themselves at the under 20 World Cup later on in the year. And right now, Seti, the loose set prop. Basically, in the opening seconds, has to leave the field. And no one likes to see that. So, Nokia will throw. And it's a good take. Namibia looking organized from the onset. Peeling away there is Valtus. Winkler. And one of their key players here, Kaji Jacob, the number five. Is Namibia spread it wide. Looking for an opening, and what they really need is a good start. They hold the Junior Springboks in the first half on Saturday. And we're actually leading for part of that game. So Namibia looking for some momentum. Winkler leading the charges here, and here's the new man in Bernardi. And it's a penalty to Namibia. Good start by Namibia, very controlled and, and structured start by Namibia and it's allowed them a penalty within kicking distance. Also Namibia choosing not to play with Cliven Lopesha. Stian Kamp getting a shot at fly off. Watched him kick beforehand Justin and he was very accurate during his warm up and he'd won a good start here to get the confidence going. Worth the mention that uh, Ruan Kitsor for, for the Namibian side, probably one of the most experienced players for them, played for the Western Province, played for the Stormers, 60 caps for Greekwas in his career and also had a stint overseas in France at Bordeaux. And they'd be looking at those players today to stand up, get them go forward, to get them some momentum, some confidence for them to get this victory over the Georgian in the 20s today. So Stian Kamp. Can he open? Namibia's account here at Marcotta. Move 
off the woodwork. Anything can happen here. And immediately Georgia now snipping a bit of luck through their captain. And Tipalatze almost breaking through. And the rugby ball can do some weird things. And here's the war horse in Ishagashvili. Georgia have numbers on the left. Mogiani, Simsive with the ball out wide. Kurarashvili and down the left is Lasky. Enterprising stuff by Georgia. Um, saw the opportunities they had away. from that ball yeah. going off that right and, and immediately made use of the ball, forcing Namibia to make some tackles and retreating just about 50 meters in that attack from Georgia. Gobe Chishvili getting a start, his first start of the series and some much needed game time for the fullback. And he puts in. A terrific kick and he wants to make a name for himself we've got a full 80 meters within the space of two minutes with Namibia having an opportunity to score on the opposite side of the field all of a sudden they found themselves under pressure from this strong Georgian pack of forwards Kuratashvili and the warhorse misses it great offload that was there to the clerk and Namibia Getting out of trouble well, but they need a good clearance here. Winkler is taking charge. And the big handoff there by Kutsov. Such an experienced player. Georgia get the penalty. A chance for them to open the account. Yeah, Gash Billy getting over there, Justin, with a good steal for the big man. And not easy for the tall timber to get down close to the ground. Fantastic steal with the man. Again giving Georgia an opportunity to look up touch. And they want to score soon. They want to put Namibia under some pressure early on. They'll be looking to do what they did to Los Pumitas on Saturday, where they scored three tries in the opening 19 minutes. Kuratashvili, can he get it right this time? And he does. And the roving more looking promising. Still going, yeah. Typical forward stuff. And it's been turned, yeah. This is a big moment for Namibia. Georgia have had a crack twice. Massive character shown by Namibia, and that's what you want to see from a side under the cosh, working working for each other and, and keeping the Georgian side out. They are a bit older, are the Namibians. A lot more experience they have, but this Georgian side is extremely powerful. We've seen in the way they've scrummed in the first two matches against the junior box and also against Argentina, who are known for their scrums, and they absolutely obliterated them in, in the set piece. Massive challenge here for, for Namibia. They fought well in the stop of the driving mall. The next job at hand is to, to combat this powerful Georgian scrum. A lot of changes for Georgia in this final game. Notably, an entire new front row of Khafalatse, Guratashvili, and Chelidze. You need to come closer as well. Crouch. Bind. No, stand up. So Divanais having none of that. Divanais having to rest, ref two games. On Saturday, did the first one between Namibia and the junior box. And then within a space of 10 minutes into the second match, Egon Seconds got some sort of injury. And the referee Ace had to step in and do two consecutive 18-minute rugby matches. And what a game that was as well. Endurance levels on Ace must be quite incredible. Penalty to Namibia. Well, this is very valuable now. That's and also, an Andres, it just shows you a kick off the posts. Getting them all the way back into their own half. Yeah, that's a massive win for Namibia. We have to keep in mind that this Georgian scrum is extremely powerful. They've, they've walked over both the junior box as well as the, the Argentinian side. And to get a penalty on the first one is a massive confidence booster for them. Like you also mentioned, Justin, off that bright, 
five minutes ago for Namibia. They could have led three points to zero, but having to defend for their lives at the moment. So that was Forbes at the back. And Namibia looking to settle down. It's an experienced side, this. A lot of test caps. Winkler. And you can hear the shot. He is frustrated at himself. Yeah, that's not what they wanted. Good driving more by, by the Namibian pack of forwards. And unfortunately, Winkler just nudging out that, that out on the full. We've not seen a lot of this Georgian side on the attack. Only one go they've had at Namibia. A perfect spot for them to launch their attack from. Up forward is Chachanice. Great take. Alania Magiani. Numbers on the left. Crashing it up though. Is Sim Sive there. And there's numbers on the right too. A big overlap here. But they go back on the inside. Beautifully wrapped around here. Space on the right. Here's Lashki. With a good leg drive. He's a very powerful player. The right winger. Koriauli, Magiani, Simsibe, and the soldier Gurarashvili peeling away as the war horse. Ishagashvili really got through a lot of work in the series. The big number five. Khavaladze. Ace says he was not crawling. Alania, Magiani with a chip ahead. Gobe Tashvili, and what a try that is. That is majestic from Magiani and David Gobejesvili. Tremendous stuff by the Georgian side. Took the ball through Fraser's, got some space on the outside. And then tremendous vision by fly half Magiani, seeing the space in behind, putting it through for his fullback. And a well deserved five points for Georgia. They've put Namibia under a lot of pressure in the first. 10 minutes of this match and we spoke we spoke about this Justin it could have so easily have been 3-0 to Namibia but now find them five points down and quite possibly seven just the back end of this try quick ball for for Georgia sharp little kick in behind well weighted grab by my which he does and well Andres maybe it's a blessing in disguise that Abshantate got that tweak to his hamstring because it gives an opportunity to Sandro Magiani to get some game time. It certainly does, Justin. Uh, Sandro Magiani looks like a good player. It's good for him to get out into the field, especially against an experienced team like Namibia before they go into the World Cup later this year in Argentina. And they want to test the entire squad, give them all game time, test all the possible combinations that they can. Because you can Throw it in confidence, but that time it's a penalty. A chance now for Namibia to put the Georgians back under pressure. Good steal for Namibia. And I'm sure Juan Kutso forgot over the ball there. That's what he's known for. That's what he does on the rugby field. And tremendous stuff by him. The 34-year-old from Belleville right here in Cape Town. Opportunity here for, for Namibia just to calm things down a little. They played well in the first three minutes of the game. And then they were under a lot of pressure for the remaining 10 minutes after that. So an ideal opportunity for them here to slow things down. Get a bit of confidence back, get momentum back into the game, and hopefully get on the scoreboard. They'll be looking to add to their two tries at the series, and it's not going to work like that at all. Peeling away uh, is the hooker, Guratashvili. Georgia playing against the 22nd ranked team in the world in the form of the Mibia. So far, or at least in the past two games, they've played the game of rugby football at a great spirit. Gobe Jishvili with the clearance. Still a good result for Namibia, and they're still within striking distance of the Georgian trial line. We have to keep in mind, Justin, that, that this Namibian side, that, that what we call the Velvichas, this, this is a side that will be playing in the Super Sport Challenge later on in the year and it's a it's a team that they they use to to grow depth for their for the international side for the one they take to the world cup and to all the various tournaments across the world they certainly are short staffed a little from from what they would have in in full out test matches also without yankees 
and Lopesha. They are both on the bench, though, should they be required. And they've got the free play. Much better from Namibia. Players on the left here. But that time, Tatoi went on his own. Stienkamp looking for the switch ball there to Walters. The Lev Damens, and he's hit hard. And how good is this bloke? Kusha Rashvili. We will come back for the penalty. But when he hits you, Andres, it's like the roof is caving in. Now he is good. He's been tremendous for this team throughout the series. He was exceptional against Argentina on Saturday. And he's going on with the same form here against Namibia. Georgia offside for the third time in this match. You're sure the referee would, Ace would start speaking to the captain about that. But opportunity here for Namibia to get onto the scoreboard and to calm down the nerves. Stian Kamp hitting the woodwork with his first attempt. And you'd expect a player of this caliber to get these three points. And of course, Namibia, oh, it's all about building momentum for them into the World Cup in Japan later on in the year. They've got a really tough pool. Italy, New Zealand, and South Africa. Stian Kamp. He delivers this time. So, it's Georgia 7, Namibia 3. Just under 16 minutes gone. PVS then come just settling the nerves, getting on the scoreboard. And that would help the confidence of the team as well. Important for them to, to gather this ball neatly and to have a good exit, to start playing rugby again in the Georgian half. Kobochishvili. Really well taken by Aris. On the far right wing. Finkler to Steenkamp. Who makes sure of that one. But Andres, it's a great opportunity here for Georgia. Yeah, it's a good opportunity for Georgia. Again, Namibia fielding it neatly. The kick from PV Steenkamp probably not as far as it would have wanted it to be. And this is advantage Georgia. That is exactly what they wanted from the kickoff. A line out within the, the 10 meter area of... Uh, Namibia and they certainly got that and we see this often in teams just and they're so desperate to kick that they don't set up the right the right platform for them to kick off Georgia not their best lineup but they get it right Simsibe powerful run by the inside center Alanya gives it to Havalatse Alanya again Kodatauri that time And they're hitting the Namibians hard. That time it was Chelidze. Georgia in search of try number two. Magiani with a great ball there to Gobajishvili. He picked a tremendous line, Alania. And here's the hooker, Guratashvili. Georgia, well, they're looking really determined. And they desperately want to take a win home. Gusharashvili. Alania, Magiani, Gobatishvili tackled well by Namibia. Georgia now, well, it's decision time. Patient, patient, patient attacking ball that by Georgia, I might say, Justin. Tremendous stuff by Gobatishvili in the fullback position. Running some really good lines early on in this match. If you look at this again, saw the space outside, took it, and probably. The best option here was to let the ball go to the left. He had three players on his left-hand side, which probably would have resulted in a five-pointer. Nonetheless, penalty right in front of that Brights. And the man himself with the opportunity to put on three points. Tell you what, Namibia was also lucky he slipped there. Because although he decided to hang on to the ball, he stayed on his feet. Possibly he could have beaten the last defender. 
does look like an exciting runner with ball in hand and we've not seen a lot of them in the series. Certainly has impressed in the first 20. Gobotrishvili makes it two out of two. So the junior Lelos have a seven point lead out here in Stellenbosch at the Bakota Complex. And a well deserved seven point lead they have at the moment. They've played most of the rack. We've not seen Namibia with ball in hand too much in the once or twice. They did have a go. They did not manage to, to put any real pressure on the defensive structures of the Georgian side. But this Georgian side, they've looked dangerous when they had the ball in hand. Stian Kamp. And Georgia, well, what were they doing there? Kusha Rashvili, he won't mind though. He'll definitely have a stab. And he's just so aggressive. What a prospect. And Namibia now trying to cause havoc at the break. Down. Alania reorganizing his troops. Gobe Jishvili. It's not out. It wasn't a bad kick, but it gives Namibia a chance to run it. He has Forbes. And Georgia, really tough on defense. Kaji Cheko scored off the bench against the junior Springboks about a week ago. And it's there for Georgia. Numbers on the left. Alania, here we go. Great ball there for Kuriauli. He has the captain to Pladze. Frees it away for the left winger and Kapta Ratze. And that is a special try. And Georgia are really here to play in the third and final game of their international under 20 series here in Stellenbosch. From the kickoff, Justin, that try resulted from the kickoff. Namibia not managing to hold on to the ball. Turned over by Georgia. And they found a tremendous amount of space on the left hand side of the field. So look at this again. Great read by Alania. Getting the ball into the edges. And this team have been special. Have Georgia in the first 20 minutes. And this guy is too big. He's too strong. Winkler, you're not going to stop me. Over for five points. And ominous times now for Namibia. Two o'clock in the afternoon. It's extremely warm and you're finding yourselves... Trailing by 15 points to 3, 20 minutes into it. It's so easy to just lose your motivation, get the game over and done with, and go back home. It's going to take a lot of character from this team to fight back from this. Gobert really with a tough kick. And that is a classy kick. From the fullback. And Andres, it's really great to see that Georgia rugby is improving immensely. It is encouraging to see both for for junior rugby and senior rugby because both teams have picked up the quality of their rugby over the past three or four years and they're becoming more and more competitive as the years go by. Georgia Gathering that one cleanly. And they are really commanding the ship at the moment. Uncharacteristic by Georgia. Just losing a bit of concentration, but we have not seen a scrum. We are 23 minutes into this game. We've seen one scrum. And this is something I've been looking forward to. This whole match, this Georgian scrum is just something to behold. When they get going, Justin... There's no stopping them like a tank going over things. And this is a massive challenge for Namibia. Open and push the face penalty, sure? Eight. Number eight. Captain. Where's the other captain? <coughs> this is not what Namibia want to see. If we 
we go if the, the ref mic, okay. it sounds Discipline like... Discipline has been, has been good up until now. This. After the whistle, there's an open hand push to the face. Well, that guy is going to be a penalty against him, okay? Can, can I talk to the yeah. Not one of them we needed right yeah. now. <laughs> Silly mistake by Georgia from that kickoff and an opportunity for Namibia to put some pressure on them. Cynical stuff by Forbes, giving away a penalty and an opportunity now for, for Georgia to get right back into the Namibian half. And when they get the ball in hand, they have looked extremely dangerous. Go back, just really with a decent kick there. That's a chance for Georgia to get the platform going here. Kura Tashvili. Up for it is Isha Gashvili. Yeah, yeah, play on. Line the on, lock over. forward. Tackle, release. It's a tackle. Georgia on halfway. And they are really enjoying themselves out here. In Stellenbosch. Kura Tashvili, the hooker. Step. Alania to Magiani. His passing has been terrific. Yes, to Pladze. Gives it there to Atari Lasky. And then unfortunately knocked on there by Kusha Rashvili. And Namibia will breathe. Atari Lasky has been good this series as well, Justin. Every time he's come off the bench, he's made an immediate impact. Scored some tries last weekend or this weekend. And he's been a handful for the opposition. Unfortunate knock on by Gujarashvili and the build up to that. But promising stuff by Georgia. They've looked dangerous with the ball in hand. They've looked comfortable with the ball in hand. Yeah. And the coaching staff will be happy with that with the way Margiani has controlled things with in the absence of a captain and, and star player, you might say, Abjan Dadze, who's on the bench due to a hamstring injury picked up in their match against Argentina. Trout. Bind. Set. The short arm. Oh, it's actually a penalty and it's taken quickly there by Winkler. That's a cynical not ten by number seven red. Well, this is cold now for Namibia, Andres. Definitely is. Another penalty from Scrum Time. They'll take a lot of confidence from that. Yellow card given to Georgia. An opportunity for them to get straight into the corner. And have a go with their driving mall. You on the angle, you need to get straight. And if Namibia, well, they can score, yeah, they're right back Number in three. this. Angle. Number three, yeah. Wait for them to sit. Okay. Yep, like Nokia with the short ball, yes, cuts off. Skip ball there to Dela Harp, the skipper. Damens. And then it just must be so frustrating for Namibia, Andres. Very frustrating for coach Phil Davies. As soon as they get opportunity, they give away some sort of penalty or knock on. Just relieving that pressure for Georgia and not keeping pressure on there for long enough periods of time in this match. It's always just a short stint of time. All Georgia have to do is defend for 20, 30 seconds and all of a sudden they've got their hands back on the ball and opportunity to relieve some pressure. Extremely frustrating. And that ball's not out. Just Aris on the right wing. A brilliant ball there. So Namibia, are they inspired at Steenkamp? The two or three dummies there in midfield. Kaji Cheko, the lock forward. Georgia's defense extremely tight. Winkler works the short side to Ludic, the towering figure. Winkler to Steenkamp, cuts off. Della Harp, they work their hands beautifully here. Opportunities on the right. 
falters. And then not collected again. Again, a golden opportunity for Namibia. And again, a mistake. And the ball up to that try. The pass going in behind Forbes, who was in for money, or at least had some space in front of him. And just an easy release for Georgia. First opportunity for Georgia to have scrum with their own ball, and they've been powerful during the during the whole series at scrum time. We've mentioned it, but Namibia they've managed to get two penalties. The mall. He's targeted there. Georgia looking to make this one count, and down the short side goes Alania, Mikhail Alania, like a thief in the night, pops it brilliantly there to Becca Kuriauli. No, no. Georgia, and it's another penalty here. Alania looking to take it quick. Great break by Alania up the left hand touch. And then Leneve Diamonds just couldn't keep his hands off the ball like any good flanker should. Look at this break again. Alania saw some space. He must have been surprised when he saw that. Good offload up the left hand touch. And again, Nokia with a good tackle. And cuts off there where a good open side flanker should be. Pressure on, on Namibia at the moment. And again, Justin, coming off the back of two penalties in a row in succession. And all of a sudden, they start, find themselves 10 metres out from their own try line. Georgia take it well. But they give the penalty away. And Namibia dodging a massive bullet. Number eight. Referee is uh, just calling obstruction by Georgia and a setup of that driving mall and a get out of jail free card for Namibia. An opportunity for Steenkamp to relieve some pressure. But this all started, Justin, on the opposite side of the field with, with Namibia with a good opportunity to get in behind Georgia. One pass goes in behind, resulting scrum off that, a resulting penalty. Another penalty later, they're having to defend for their lives on their own try line. And it's something they're going to have to sort out. So Nokia, it's an overthrow and another error. And essentially it's making things very easy from the men from Eurasia and they work the short side. A brilliant dummy there, it's been intercepted. Namibia, you missed that. Really lucky. They got numbers on the left. Della Hop to Prince Lou, Voltus, and here's Mouton. Georgia's defense is really immense at the moment. Did really well to keep Namibia out New there. And no, no. You got the feeling that Namibia was just slightly lateral across the field, making it easy for, for Georgia to just push in on the inside and force him out into touch. But promising stuff by Namibia, you know, the intent to attack was there. They just need to be a bit more clinical when it comes to the execution. This broadcast brought to you by Twitter and School Sport Live. And please remember to keep interacting with us across all social media platforms, wherever you may be. Up next after this is the big one. Los Pumitas taking on the Junior Springboks both sides unbeaten in the series. And that, Andres, promises to be an absolute blockbuster. It's set up quite nicely for the last game of the series. South Africa up against Argentina. Both teams undefeated. Also, South Africa playing against the host of the World Cup this year. Argentina have looked tremendous in this series. It's play, uh, exceptional brand of rugby it's free-flowing it's exciting to watch the skill exhibition is tremendous and that'll be a tough opposition for south africa isha gashvili with a great take and alania puts a big one in steenkamp finds prinsloo mouton the new gents on the field and to Pladze, the georgian captain 
is saying, you're not getting through our defense at all. Stiernkamp, Damens to Ludic. Really good offload. And then, well, I'm losing count here, Andres, for the amount of mistakes that we're seeing from the Namibians. Whenever it looks promising, they just can't capitalize. Andre Rademeyer finding himself on the receiving end on the left-hand flank for Namibia. And unfortunately for Namibia, they had numbers available, but not the right ones. They had the big man, AJ de Klerk, also Rademeyer, and then also Norkia on the left-hand flank. You'd like to see them have one or two backs in between them have some pace to put Georgia under some pressure. But at this stage, 35 minutes into the match, it's been all Georgia. Extremely interesting setup that Georgia have in their back line. Virtually all lined up on the short side. They get the short arm. Georgia, remember, still seven people in the scrum against eight of Namibia. And you rightly mentioned, we've got the entire Georgian team of the 13 players of the 14 on the field within the 15-meter area almost of, of the right-hand side of the field. And then only one player on the opposite side, left winger Kavdaradze, all by himself. Interesting setup. Let's see what they've got for us. Another one for Namibia. They've been tremendous. The men in front, Nokia, leading them all with the Clark and also Ryder Mayer on the field at the moment. They've done exceptionally well to keep this Georgian scrum at bay. We've mentioned this, Justin. They completely obliterated every single scrum they came up against in this series. But somehow Namibia have managed to stand up to them. It's the Cup giving his players a decent platform now to work with. And the question is, can they get something right here before half time? A try now, and they're back in the game. Another short throw, Kutsov, laying it up to his captain, Della Harp. And this is inspirational from the number 12. 47 tests for Namibia, and that's why Namibia have a penalty. Finally, someone in the Namibian side, the two big men in the team, standing up, getting some go for the captain, De La Harp, getting them on the front foot for pass from Kitsov. An opportunity here, Justin. Georgia still only 14 men on the field as we look at this highlight. Kitsov with a little offload, and then De La Harp off the right foot. Strong handoff to get him behind Georgia. Good tackle at the end. But now Namibia on the front foot. Taken there by Kaji Jeko. And on the outside was Mutat. Namibia in much need of a try. Dela Hop with a no nonsense approach. Pops it there to Bernardi. Winkler has to wrestle for it. And Georgia. Well, there must be something in the air. And that is a perler from Gobejishvili, but it's a quick throw. Here's Prinsloo. Hitting the line is Aris. And that was superbly done by the right winger, Damens. Looks to punch the defensive line, but he meets Ishagashvili. So how tight is the Georgian defense? Namibia will let us know. Yes, Kutsov. Winkler works the short side to Damens. Getting off there. Interesting, Justin. Namibia Captain. two opportunities to have or to set the driving more close to the Georgian try line, and both times opted to get the ball, peel no away more. from the driving more, and set up the phases. You have to wonder whether they spoke about this before the game. 
identified that this Georgian pack of fours, big, strong individuals, and maybe opting to try and go through the middle of them. In terms of strong carries by the loose forwards into backline players. But it's extremely important now for Namibia to put to put this pressure into points to make use of the pressure that they've built up in the back end of the first half. And it's a great time for them to score a try, to take the momentum into half time and also starting the second half with some momentum. Again, Steenkamp opting for the touch. And will they set up the driving mall? Still playing against 14 men. So Namibia. Well, they need a try here to believe. And how crucial could it be if they get over? Come on. Too Press much fancy stuff at line out time. Yeah, again, Justin, just Namibia not having the courage, I suppose, to take on this Georgian pack. And spilling that ball. Again, silly error. By Namibia just relieving the pressure for, for this Georgia inside. And they'll go into half time feeling very, very happy with the way they've played. A moment to go, Aris. Well, it looked like he was going to inspire a try. Him and Adela Harper, so much work. And they're still looking. For the opening try of the game, Georgia will surely, if they get the scrum right, they'll settle for half time. No messing around by Gobajish really. And the junior Lelos, Georgia under 2017, Namibia 3. We saw two special tries from Gobajish really, the fullback, and Kap Taratse, the left winger. Andres, thoughts? Yeah, it's been a good half in terms of Georgia's play. They've been exciting with ball in hand and they put Namibia in a lot of pressure. On the other side of the spectrum, Namibia, they not feel happy with the way they played. They did have some opportunities. They, there were some times of the match where they had Georgia under pressure for extended periods, but haven't managed to put the pressure into points. A lot of work on for them in the second half, but 40 minutes left in this game and, much, and a lot to play for. I've been working with rhinos for in excess of, of 30 years now. And you know, during these, this time, I've just seen the rhinos, the numbers just dwindling before my very eyes. Uh, all the preemptive and proactive measures that we've been taking haven't worked. The dehorning procedures have really been carried out on, on a relatively small scale. But the areas that we've done it, the poaching has been cut down by at least 90, if not 100%. At this stage, this is the only proactive measure that's going to uh, actually stem the poaching tide and go in the right direction of actually preserving our iconic white rhino species. They're not going to survive without our help. We need to be responsible to be sustainable at the end of the day. If we're not responsible now about the species, our children's children will not be able to see them.
time for MTN Easter Mega Deals. This month only, save big with 40 gigs of data for only 199 per month on a 24-month MyMTN Choice 5 gig SIM-only contract. Plus, get a MiFi router for an extra 30 Rand per month. We got you. Sign up for Upgrade at an MTN store today. Everywhere you go, MTN. So a wonderful initiative there by Investec. Just remember to go to the bottom of the stream to click and donate. We lose about a thousand rhinos every single year and it can only be stopped with good support. So we're back here with Namibia and Georgia under 20s, the junior Lelos and the scoreline reflecting 17-3. But what it won't tell you Andres is how many errors that Namibia have made and possibly if they cut down on those errors they could have scored two or three tries. Yeah, they've, they've not been clinical enough. They've had some opportunities and they spilled those opportunities and in games like these that are going to be tightly matched, you're going to have to take, take you know, make use of those opportunities to put the, the opposition under some pressure. They've made mistakes in silly parts of the field, silly times of the game, just allowing Georgia to, to release the pressure that, that Namibia managed to build up on, on them. Georgia on the other side, they've been really clinical with ball in hand. They've looked dangerous, they've played well, their set pieces functioned nicely, and they really look like a well drilled and a well coached side at the moment. And Andres, what's also promising from a Georgian perspective, if you look at somebody like Tedo Abshandadze, who's not playing today because of an injury, Magiani comes in, filters well into the team, and they've got a backup kicker in the form of Gobajishvili, who's also pretty attacking at the back as well. Yeah, and you just, you can't help but think that Goba Jasvili is on the field because I needed a goal kicker because of the, of the absence of Abjan there and Magiani, he's came in and he's managed the game extremely well. He's played really nicely, he's moved the ball to the right parts of the field. Whenever there was space, you'd feel that he'd move the ball into space. And then, on fullback, Goba Jasvili, he's been tremendous. He's ran some really good attacking lines. He's kicked well out of hand. His goal kicking's been good. He's been rewarded with a try as well. So Georgia have a really strong a strong squad at the moment. Their pack of fours, we've mentioned this before, extremely powerful. Um, you know, Gusharashvili, he's a massive goal, ball carrier for them. Ayar Shagashvili, also a strong ball carrier. Good physical influence for the Georgian side and they just really look like a well-balanced team if they manage to put 18 minutes of rugby you know together they would scare a lot of the big teams because we saw it against South Africa put us under a lot of pressure at times and also against uh, Argentina on the weekend they've had Argentina they were leading Argentina for the first 17 minutes of the match just some highlights from the first half good offloads by the uh, Georgian side, and there's Aya just really strong second row for them, and just good vision from the replacement fly of Margiani or the starting fly from Placer Ochandadze, and then the fullback over just really good pace getting over for the first try of the match. And that's two players that haven't played a lot of rugby in this series coming onto the field and making an instant difference in the Georgian side. And coaches will be really, really happy, happy to see that. Another turnover from Namibia, ball spilt, moved to the edge by Georgia. And once you're trailing, once you're chasing tail, like they say, it's extremely tough to stop a team. And this boy is extremely powerful. Looks like a flank forward on the left wing there. Extremely tough to take. And they have been tremendous in this in this series. The way they play rugby is just so good to watch. It's really exciting. And the, the style and the brand of rugby they play is, is something that uh, viewers and spectators can relate to. So a massive game coming up next up. But we have to keep on remembering that this series is 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 
purely year for these teams to test themselves before they go to the World Cup in June. See where they have some shortcomings, see where they can areas that they can improve on, and then give themselves enough time to improve on those areas. And this broadcast is brought to you by Twitter and School Sport Live. And without them, this wouldn't be possible. So a massive, massive shout out and thank you to our sponsors. So the fullback, he's been largely responsible for the scoreline. David Gobajish really will get the second half going. And up for it is Ruan Ludek. And he pops it very nicely there to one of his support players. And Namibia must be thinking, well, it's their final 40 minutes of the series. Let's have some fun. And more importantly, let's cut out some errors. Winkler with the box kick. And you don't see that every day. Off the thigh. And it pops up there for Prince Lou. And it's a penalty to Namibia. So they can look for some territory here. Slight breeze behind Namibia at the moment. So opportunity for them to kick right into the Georgian half of the field and, and put pressure on them right away. They came off the, the field after the first half. Must have felt aggrieved at not scoring a try. They were on the try line of Georgia for extended periods of time and an opportunity here to get right back into it. Uncharacteristic error by, by Georgia. Great opportunity for Namibia. So the inside centre there has done a sterling job. Replacing the experienced Lomitse. That was Sim Sibe. He's done well. And it's another overthrow. Or well, Georgia will be licking their lips. Because essentially they should never be getting ball like this. There's a two-on-one, and they do beautifully well. Chinchinadze, the replacement player, not a great pass. Good offence by Namibia. Unfortunate overthrow. Again, a mistake coming at a crucial time of this match, but good defence ensuing from that. And another opportunity for Namibia to have a crack at Georgia. They have to be more clinical. They have to be more eager and hungry to get some points on the board. Hold on to the pull and play some rugby. Build pressure to continually having a go at Georgia. Ludic, Winkler. And another error yet again. And perhaps Andres, the scrum of Winkler, got surprised by that ball from Ludic. But you'd expect a scrum off of that quality to put in a good ball. Unfortunate error by Namibia and again, not managing to, to make use of the, the opportunities that they do get. It is it is a bit more difficult to handle the ball when there's a slight breeze at your back because it seems to drift away from the from the player receiving the pass. So unfortunate error from Namibia. Again, you know, if you want to build pressure, if you want to beat teams and and, and and be accountable, you have to, to build pressure and, and slowly chip away at teams and and force Georgia to make tackles, tie them out, and eventually they'll make a mistake and you'll get your opportunity to score a try. But at the moment, not holding on to the ball for long enough on Namibia. So Georgia. another reset and just in the interim, yeah, it does look like Gobo Jishvili will take over the fly position for the rest of the game. I do not see a Maggiani anywhere. Yes, just a slip. Yes, Maggiani off the field. Kuba just really slotting into the 10th position also. Georgia back to their full complement of 15 players. Corioli back onto the field after that Sinman. And on the field is Chichindadze playing at a fullback berth for, for Georgia. So some changes for, for the side and probably just testing more combinations of the coaching staff of Georgia. Not square and steady. 
uncharacteristic by Georgia. The scrum has been their weapon of choice throughout this series, and they've not managed to to really take advantage in this game. And it could be a combination of some ill discipline by Georgia and good scrummaging by Namibia, but they will certainly be disappointed with the way the scrums have gone. A bit longer, not on the shoulder. Fine there. Okay, not, not here. There. So Georgia have also replaced some of their front row. Started in the first two games of the series. Namibia, good pop ball there from Forbes. And yes, Prinsloo hitting a line hard is Aris, the right winger. Stienkamp at nine. De La Harp, it's looking promising here. And then Nokia throws a wayward pass. And Namibia losing vital meters. Ludic. On the far left is Mouton. Stian Kamp. And there is an overlap here. Can Namibia make it count? They're running out of room. Voltus comes to the rescue. Stian Kamp. Trying to send Chinchin Edset back. But nevertheless, they have the penalty. Encouraging for Namibia to hold on to the ball a bit longer than managed to, to get a penalty or force a penalty out of Georgia. Again, slightly lateral in the way they're attacking at the moment, making it easier for Georgia to close his space. So Namibia, you get the feeling that if they do score next, their spirit will definitely rise. And it's another sloppy line out. Good ball there from Kodo Tauri. And there's numbers on the right. Here's the captain to Pladze. It's really put in a good innings today in those wider channels. Alania trying to spot some space around the rack. Georgia in a very relaxed mood here, 14 points up. And they're living off the errors that Namibia are making. Use it. And they won't mind the slow ball. Alania has the time to find touch. But good Andres, Namibia need a catalyst here. They need some fire. They certainly do, but good defensively at the moment, Namibia. They kept Georgia in their own 22-meter line for a couple of phases and managed to force a kick, giving themselves an opportunity to have a go. Yeah, we've been hopping on about Namibia and the mistakes they've made, and they've not really been great and physical. They're only 14 points down. If they score first, yeah, they're right back into this match. They can get some encouragement from that, some confidence, and have a go at Georgia. Well, Namibia just can't get anything right to Pladze. Chinchinadze, he's got some wheels. And great offload there. And that time it was Kaptaradze trying to get the pen going. Kobacic with a great pass. And if that came off, Andres, we would have seen Georgia in for their third try. Again, off the mistake of Namibia, Chichen Datsi into some space. Trode showed some tremendous pace here, but have a look at this. Poison, Adrian Poison on the field with a massive hit. Showing some intent is Adrian Poison. He's been, or he has been good for Namibia in that first match against Argentina. He was tremendous for them, one of their main ball carriers and defensive strengths. Adrian Poison on the field for Namibia. Also, Yankees, the most capped. Namibian player of all time onto the field. Or give them some direction. 
It's crazy to think that Yankees made his debut all the way back in 2006, Andres. Some of these players that have only been about five or six. So okay. all that experience. He certainly doesn't look that old at the moment. He must be living a good life, his Yankees. Three Rugby World Cups to his name as well. 2007, 2011 and 2015 played some rugby in Romania as well. Set. Okay, ball is available. De La Harp. Here we go. Done beautifully well here by Prince Lou. And to Palazze from Georgia. The captain has to make the tackle. Poison hitting the line hard. And then he drops the goods. And the error stats must be record breaking out here at the moment. Heartbreaking for Namibia. Good line by Adrian Boyson. Trying to inject himself into this match and unfortunately not managing to hold on to the pull. Justin, good line again by Prince coming in on the right hand side of the field and unfortunately again for Namibia putting some pressure on Georgia and then not capitalizing on that. On the field for Namibia, Clement Lopcher and the number 10 berth in place of Pierre Vestian Kamp <laughs> with the experience of Giant Chess. They were hoping to turn around Namibia's fortunes. And also Andres with these turnovers that Georgia are getting. They have to take one of them and get us and score a try because Namibia get an opportunity here. They score they're right back in this game. They certainly are. Set. And there's a Georgian scrum we've come to know. Powerful stuff again by them. Replacements making a difference. Now Ratze on the field in the hooker berth for, for Georgia and also on the park is Murazetsi. Were well, tremendous in the first two matches. It's about 27 minutes to go, still plenty of time for twist in the tail. And Ludic for Namibia. A lock is looking for a turnover here. And it's his mate, Kaji Jekyll. Good pressure on the Georgian line out by Kaji Jekyll forcing the turnover. Unfortunately, Yankees couldn't hold on to that. We find ourselves with the Georgia line on the halfway line, right in front of us, Justin. Neil Radze. Quality line out, Alanya to Gubojishvili. Georgia making a rare error there in midfield. Forced by a strong tackle from Ruan Kitsov. He is a strong individual, the 34-year-old. Extremely experienced and tough as nails is Ruan Kitsov. And it's in times like these, just where your big players need to stand up. Your Kitsovs, your Adrian Boysons, Yankees, Lopesha on the field at the moment captain de la harp they need inspiration and a team needs inspiration from their leaders and times like these your big players need to stand up still a lot of rugby left to play 26 minutes left in this match enough time for them to get back into it only 14 points in adjusted but the time is now for namibia to strike can they go to players step up Ouch. At Mokota. Come on, guys. You need to sort it out on this side. Okay? It's their ball, so you need to adapt your head. Okay? No more. 
Take it there. I wouldn't be surprised if I had no idea what the referee said right there. So Yankees to feed. Fine. Set. It's another huge shot from Georgia. He has poison. And he loves to have a crack. The loose forward. Aris. Namibia's youngest ever test player at scrum off that time. Lopesha taking contact. It's taking an age to come out. Yankees to Aris. An awkward position there. A little bit hesitant. Skip ball to Della Hop. Nicely done to Poison. And then that is just tremendous defense from Georgia. And they're sparking a breakout here through Zagi Netze. And an opportunity here, bursting away is Kutsop. Could this be the opportunity? Kutsop, the open side flanker, brings Namibia back into the game. Tremendous stuff. Ruan Kutsop, we spoke about the big players having to stand up. And a man, Ruan Kutsop certainly did. Fortunate drive for Namibia, coming off a turnover, but how good. Has Adrian Boyson been since he's been on the field? Knocked out one or two balls, but he's brought in some intent. And this just coming off a turnover. Line break by Georgia, getting in behind. And the movie in defense. Sloppy pass straight into the hands of Kits of the 34 year old. He couldn't believe his eyes. Over for the five points, and exactly what Namibia needed. Only seven points in it, Justin. I think importantly to add that Andres, he's 34, you could still be playing. He must have taken less knocks than I did, Justin, especially to the head. As you can probably hear from the pronunciation of most of my words, but certainly very industrious is Ron Kitsoff and a strong individual. Remember playing against him a couple of times and not the easiest man to bring down. Game on. Seven points, the difference. The men from Eurasia will be nervous. Namibia have their key players on the park. Out here at Mokota. And Lopesha or if in doubt, kick it out. But I don't know how satisfied he'll be with that one. Not his best kick. But a clean enough exit from the Namibian side. They do have the wind at their back and they do need to make use of that. Turn this big Georgian pack of forwards around, make them go backwards as often as you can and don't give them opportunity to get on the front foot because they will punish you. Rightly mentioned, Namibia have their big players on the field and it's time for them to stand up. Ruin Kutsov has shown that he can do that and they need more players to, to, to stick up their hands. Georgia barely getting that right, line out right and they're looking for some space. Cup to Radset. With the skip ball. And Georgia. Well, they'll be feeding the nerves. But do they have the temperament? The war horse with a massive run there and offload. Yasha Gashvili. Gobe Jishvili almost intercepted. And here's Neil Radse, the hooker. Does well to keep the ball. Not taking a chance of the 50 50 pass. Kolo Tauri has been inspirational with his passing. Flicking the ball beautifully through the hands. And a knockdown there by Aris. Alanya. Kolo Tauri again, that time taking contact. Goba Chishvili. And Namibia. Well, there's some life in them. But unfortunately, they they don't have the scrub. Certainly seems to have been a lift in intensity from Namibia after they scored that try. 
Jerome Kitsov being the inspiration, some intensity, some intent on the defensive line. They're getting off the line really quick and putting in some really big hits on Namibia at the moment. And it's amazing what a try at the right time can do for you. It just looked a bit lackluster from the Namibian side. All of a sudden, some energy in those legs. And, and Georgia will have to be clinical in the way they play this game going forward. 20 minutes left for them to play. They desperately want to take a win back home after this series. And they're going to have to be good for the last quarter of this match. Yep, still a long 20 minutes for Junior Lelos. And they'll be feeling now that they have to score some more points to keep Namibia away from sniffing a victory. And the crowd is flocking in here at Makota. It's a beautiful, beautiful setting here. World-class facilities. Maybe time for some useless information. I spoke to a gentleman a couple of weeks ago that mentioned that the Marcotta right here was where the eight-man scrum was founded. And before that, the scrum was uh, just one big mess. And at the Marcotta, someone decided, no, let's sort this out. There's eight people in the scrum that allows you to put three on each side for the back line. One guy feeling the ball into the scrum. Fine. And thus, the eight-man scrum was born. Set. Much movement from both sides and it's coming Georgi Magalitadze, who started the game at Scrum Off for Georgia against the Junior Springboks on Tuesday last week. Georgia certainly can be looking to get a penalty from the scrum. They have been strong in the second half with the, with the changes they've made. Namibia also forced to get Aja de Clark off the field and have the, the full complement of Ryder May and Bernardo on the field at the moment. Fresh Six. legs on for Namibia. Six. Steady. Also available. Available. So here we go. Georgia. Looking for a third try. And it's been a while since Kobe Jishvili and Kaptaradze got over the chalk. Georgia looking to break the line. Neil Radze under pressure. And for Georgia, now is not the time to panic. A show and go but Namibia. Defense is tight, but Iyasha Gashvili sniffs a bit of an opening. Magali Tatse to Gobajishvili. And there's Chinchinadze. Magali Tatse. Great tackle by Namibia. They're happy to work the short side. Great defense there by. Namibia again. Tremendous Namibia stuff by Namibia. Is so tight. Tremendous stuff, Justin. There's some sting in the tackles at the moment, some energy in those legs, and they certainly are up for this exciting 17 minutes ahead. It's as if the players that came off the bench has come and inspired the players on the field. Especially Adrian Boyson's been tremendous. So has Yankees. And Clem and Lopecher, they've been inspirational in the way they came onto the field, inspiring their team. Namibia, probably one of their best lineouts of the game. Managing to get the ball back. And that is well taken there by Kav Taradze. Georgia spreading the ball wide in danger land to Paladze, the skipper. Namibia looking for the turnover, and that is yeoman work done there.
by Bolters. And Jericho with the error. She's extremely frustrating. There may be a great defense on the right hand flank from the Namibia turning over that ball and then just spilling it from the ensuing attack. Extremely frustrating, but positive signs at the moment for, the moment for Namibia. They look like they've got the upper hand. They've got the momentum at the moment and they certainly have to strike while the iron's hot. This broadcast proudly brought to you by Twizzer and School Sport Live. And remember to interact with us across all social media platforms. So Yankees, you'll have to be important in this last 15 minutes. A lot of time for some tries. He's been good for Namibia, so has Audrey Maton since he's been on the field. And look at that, that is a beautiful sight on Makota. Georgia, Gobetishvili with some unorthodox play there. And this is valuable. Very valuable for, for the Georgian side. And looks like they've sorted out their scrum with the replacements on the field. And this is what we've seen from them in the first two matches. Certainly in the first halves of those previous matches that they played, they were extremely dominant at scrum time. And this is danger signs for Namibia. They're going to have to try and limit the amount of scrums they give. Aris does so well there. And here goes Lopesha and Poison almost breaking through. And Dela Harp to Mouton. And he's lost that forward. But also into touch. Yeah, good stuff by Namibia. Adrian Boyson again, very industrious. And then Moton unfortunately going into touch. But fortunate, yeah, for Namibia in touch before the ball went forward. So line out for Georgia and something that probably could control the Namibian pack of forwards. Ishagashvili just getting some intention and he's been extremely industrious throughout this match. He's a real war horse as a young man, a big, big individual and gets around the park talented rugby players a powerful men they have in Georgia tell you what Andres I'm excited to see this junior there those side in June in Argentina some amazing talent and already their skipper who's not playing today Abshandadze has already played seven games for the Georgian national side, 100% record as well. Georgia, well, it's their game to lose. Gobetishvili cutting it out to Kodo Tauri. He's had a great outing as well with these little slip balls. Namibia. Well, have they poached this one? Lopesha, eyes lighting up. But Georgia 15. equal to the contest. Jericho, handing at that time to Radameyer. Lopesha, Kachi Jericho, he's going backwards. Lopesha to Boyson. So many carries. Ludic bringing it away to Della Harp, his captain. And they're looking for a solution to this Georgian Ball. defense. And more called. 
Play on. Ishak Ashvili with the offload to Neil Ratze. Just over 10 minutes to go. Georgia spraying it away. Chinchinatze takes contact. Doesn't go for the speculative ball. And both sides just struggling to create any opportunities. And it's slow again for Magali Tatse. He spots an opening and does really well. Georgia gaining some momentum eventually. But Namibia's defense has really been great in the second half. And here's Azaria Yishvili, who's with Montpellier in France. Magali Tatse to Koba Yishvili. Chinchinadze. And Andres, it's almost as if Georgia are running out of ideas with how Namibia is defending at the moment. And if they get their tails up here, yeah, there could be big trouble. This lope ship with the kick. Yes, Chinchinadze. Looking to go around the outside, and he does really well. Opportunities, yeah. And they have a crack. Here's a try. And it's an amazing try. I think it is. Get us really. It could be anyone, Justin, but it's an amazing try by Georgia. A lot of rugby between the two 10 meters line and the build up to that try. And one stage, I thought Namibia had to, should just use the wind they have at their back, kick it into the corner and put pressure on Georgia. Unfortunately, all that industrious play has resulted in a five point in the upper side of the field. Kobojasvili with another opportunity to add two points. So what a cracking try and that might just do it for Georgia. Has certainly been on for the fullback, four out of four. And it does look as if the try was scored by Kote Marjanishvili, who's in the national sevens setup. If it is him. It's a good try by Georgia and a crucial part of the match. It just looked like Namuyo getting the upper hand. They had all the momentum. They looked extremely dangerous with the ball in hand. Defensively, they had a spring in their step. And then really unfortunate for them leaking in a try. All of a sudden another 14 point gap and important for them to get onto the scoreboard right away. So Georgia, will they just look to close out this game? Or will they try add to their three cracking tries? Magali Tatse looking to relieve some pressure and he finds Lobsha, Cliven Lobsha setting off on a bit of an expedition there. Yankees works the short side to Della Harp. Can you imagine if the Mibia score next? It will be back on here. Another terrific carry by Boyson. Here's Cherico. The tall timber. Stian Kamp to the toy and then Aris. And here it is, Justin. Five minutes left. Important for Namibia to get a seven pointer to put themselves back in this match. And they have been good with ball in hand in the second half. A really, really good performance since they came out. After half time, Stian come back on the field with strapping around the head. It's 
So Namibia will have five minutes. And the draw is on the cards. If they can score quickly, Nokia delivers as they look to get them all going. And Namibia will be saying this game is not over. So they're edging closer and closer. And they're back in this one. Nukia, the hooker scores. And Andre Swal, a draw is definitely on the cards here. Anything is still on the cards, just a good try by Namibia. And the first time they go to the driving wall from line out time, you can't help but wonder if this would be a different scoreline had they gone to this very powerful machine they have in the first half. Back onto the field, there's Nurkia, also the Clark to give them that little bit of a weight advantage. A fantastic drive by Namibia. Important kick here for PVS Camp. Sian Kamp. The crucial two points to put his side back into touching distance. And he fails to do so. So Georgia, really lucky there. Georgia, 24, and Namibia, 15. Unfortunate for Namibia, and very important kick by PVS Tienkamp. Nine-point gap at the moment, and you get the feeling that Namibia will have to score from the Sincere kickoff, should they want any hope of winning this match. Gobetishvili. <laughs> The toy was an easy one for the outside center. Namibia, what can they do? Do they have the determination? They've got just under three minutes. They've been a lot better in the second half. Lobsha to the toy. Lopesha, and here's Jericho putting his head down. Lopesha with a good skip ball, and here's Boyson. He's really sparked so much. What a terrific player, so much power. And that is really unfortunate. He's really given it his it. all out here in the second half. And you can't help but feel for him. That was a terrific run. Well, Georgia, all they have to do now is hang on to the ball. And Namibia steal it. And they got players on the right. Yes, Yandre the toy. The Jet Shoes get going. And he scores. Namibia, with only a few minutes remaining, have a chance of winning this fixture. The toy with a scintillating burst. Great with a terrific try. Great try by the toy. Getting over for the five points, but a great build-up, Adrian Boyson. How good has he been since he's been on the field? Tremendous stuff, Namibia. So look at this. You're going to first see the run from the big man, Adrian Boyson. Quick, powerful, not the easiest boy to bring down. Unfortunate turnover here with the offload on the inside. Namibia managed to turn that back over. But Rademeyer, and all of a sudden, so much space on the right-hand side. The toy, enough pace to get in over for a five-pointer. PVS Cup unfortunately, not being able to convert that try off screen. Still four points in it. Well, who would have expected a finish like this when it was half-time? Georgia... 
in the space of a minute or two, conceding two tries. And a five points have done a terrific job since they've been on the field. So means you try them left. And we heard the referee mention earlier, another two minutes left for Namibia to get another try on the scoreboard. Exciting finish to this fixture between Namibia and Georgia in the 20s. What a finish this will be for the Namibian side if they manage to pull off a win against the strong Georgian team. And Phil Davies be proud of the way that his players have not given up and they still have a chance of producing the unthinkable yet Namibia from their own 22 Della Hoff the captain Trying to gain some ground. And Jericho with a pawn storming run. Nukia and Namibia have started to play some great rugby. Stian Kamp. Here's the toy, the try scorer. And Mouton. Georgia get the penalty. And is that all? Right on the hoot to Justin. Georgia managed to turn over that ball. Heartbreaking stuff for this Namibian side. And that is all. So Georgia, the junior Lelos, 24, Namibia 20. And well, it was almost the tale of two halves really. Georgia started off very well, well capitalizing on Namibia's errors. They scored three great tries through Gobajeshvili, the fullback, Kapta Radze, the left winger, and then the replacement player, number 25, or number 24, should I say, in Kote, Majaneshvili, Namibia, also scoring three good tries. It started with Kitsov in the second half, and then a balling try through Nokia, and then a flash of brilliance from Boyson, which resulted in a try to the toy, and Namibia were back in the game. Thoughts, Andres? Encouraging second half for Namibia. They were down 17 to 3 at half time and managed to fight their way back into this match. And at one stage, it looked like they had the momentum and they had the ability to come away with a win. An unfortunate try resulted from a poor kick by Namibia, pushed uh, Georgia 14 points ahead. They managed to, to, to score two tries.